Welcome everybody. I'm Evo Bluestein, and this is a little webinar on Evo harps and sparrow harps. If you are an auto harper looking for a different harp, or you're not an auto harper and you're looking to start, this is just meant to be a little introduction on a little bit of what is out there and why I made the Evo harps and the sparrow harps. Um, the Evo harps are light like the old black auto harps from the 1950s and 60s. Only they have modern construction techniques and skills that go into it. I have some of the best uh, luthiers working on these things, uh, building these things. Uh, the Evo harp is built by wonderful Jim Woods in Mountain View, Arkansas at the McSpadden Dulcimer Shop. And the sparrow harp is the three quarter sized Evo harp built by the wonderful Pete Daigle up in near Tacoma, Washington. So it's a little bit narrower if your arms are shorter. I work with a lot of kids, so uh, it's ideal for that because, uh, you know, we like to play it nowadays in the upright position and to get your arms around if you're a small uh, shorter arms, uh, the sparrow harp is really ideal. And turns out adults with shorter arms are uh, loving this harp. Uh, if you have a, a trip you want to take and you want to save, economize on space, that's another reason to get the sparrow harp. I wanted it to have everything that the Evo harp does have. So the basic model for either harp is the 15 bar harp. And uh, that's my, I call it my little roadster. You know, in the space of the old 12 bars on the old fashioned A style, what we call the A style Oscar Schmidt auto harps, uh, they had 12 bars often and two rows. Well, this is three rows. So in the space of the old 12 bars, we got more keys. In uh, the key of A, the key of D, key of G major and the key of C major. And all the relative minors are in the front row. The major chords are in the middle row and the flatted sevenths are in the back row. And we use the uh, what's known as the Brian Bauer setup, which uh, Oscar Schmidt and Carl Maharb never got right. It's just more comfortable than any of those styles that they uh, build in. So your middle finger goes on the one chord uh, like if you're in the key of D, you put it on the D. And uh, for the next uh, position, you put your pointer on the C. That's what we call the four chord. I'm sorry, the G is right next to it. So D and G, middle and pointer. And the five chord is in the back row. It's a five, seven, so A7. So you got D, G, and A7. And then to uh, play in a different key, you just move that fingering up or down. So the key of A, go towards the floor a little bit. Here you are, A, D, and ring finger E7, one, four, five. So A, D, move it up. You got the key of G. And the last position is the key of C on a 15 bar harp. Now, if you wanna play uh, in the key of F or the key of E, that's why you would want to get the 21 bar harp and uh then you'd have the key of e down here and the key of f up here um so if you play in a lot of keys you might want to have the 21 bar harp um i'll i'll give you an idea of how that sounds a little bit so uh, let's take this uh <clears throat> If you were playing, say, Wildwood Flower on the auto harp, I know it's cliche, but let's do it. So that's the 15 bar Evo harp. Now, the Sparrow harp, which is a little smaller, uh, 
it has an amazing sound for its size. It can't quite have as the depth of the Evo harp being a smaller harp, but it's pretty amazing. <laughs> A beautiful thing and of course all the harps can be purchased with a pickup electronic pickup so you can plug it in to an amplifier or a sound system and <clears throat> make it a little bit louder well then of course you can get your harps in what we call the diatonic system now that's a <clears throat> a system popularized by brian bowers <clears throat> where you have double strings. <clears throat> so instead of being chromatically tuned, like the notes of the piano with all the sharps and the flats, it's tuned to one key. So uh, you have some double strings that make a nice effect. A different kind of a chorus sound. Um, now we make at Evo Harp, a kind of compromise to be able to play in more keys because a truly diatonic harp is a one key harp. So you get like an A diatonic or a C diatonic. And then you have to, you can only play in that key basically. Or um, <clears throat> This is what we call a two key diatonic, which means not all the strings are doubled, but some of them are. And uh, you can get that double string sound sometimes uh, on some of the notes. Uh, but we also, since you can't play in all the keys that you can on a chromatic, we give you these color chords like minor sevenths and suspended chords, which um, give you some other options that you don't find on a chromatic harp. Um, so when I want a, a song to accompany singing with maybe just a fuller sound, I'll use the chrome, the diatonic harp with those double strings. Um, and then uh, another model that uh, Jim Woods at Evo Harp uh, came up with is the hymnal harp. It's a wonderful thing. A lot of hymnals are in flat keys. Those books, uh, hymns in, in those books are often in A flat or B flat or E flat. And whether you're singing hymns or not, you can sing in, a, in those uh, keys. And it's got a different string schedule, which gives a kind of a mellower sound. So if you wanted to try, uh, if you needed to be in B flat, E flat, or A flat, <clears throat> the hymnal harp could be for you. It also has major keys of F, C, and G, uh, and, uh, and D. So it's quite versatile as well. Um, we also make harps left-handed, if you need left-handed harps, so pickups, left-handed. Uh, if you wanted a special color for your sparrow harp, Pete Daigle has been known to uh, uh, take requests for different colors, pink or black or other colors. Uh, some red, some people have some red ones out there. Um, we also make the uh, a lap harp for people who, who still like to play flat on their lap. And that's a different design because uh, when you play flat on your lap, you, it, it's just a, a different kind of thing. So uh, it's different than when you hold it upright. Uh, that is a little overview on some of the harps. And you can always shop at evobluestein.com. Feel free to call me or email me uh, with questions. And then 
I'll probably refer you directly to the builders, Jim Woods for the Evo harp and Pete Daigle for the Sparrow harp. <clears throat> if you're wondering about my style of teaching, um, I have some wonderful uh, <clears throat> resources available. The beginning uh, auto harp lesson video is available uh, from my website uh, uh, at the web store. You just click on instructional and this video is something you can download. Uh, the advanced, intermediate advanced one, you can download as well, but I think I still have some copies if you want to purchase a, an actual DVD. Uh, also have some books. Uh, you can download these. Uh, and the, uh, this kind of intermediate advanced one has a two hour DVD that comes along with it. So uh, these are also available at the website under instructional. A quick overview of my style of playing. Um, I like to say it's a, what we call a, a four step method um, where uh, let's pick up, I'll, I'll do this on the sparrow harp and just show you, uh, I'm in the key of G, <clears throat> um, basic accompaniment in 4-4 four, four time signature where we're counting two beats or four beats per measure. We say pinch strum, pinch strum, pinch strum, pinch strum, lost my partner. And step two in those books and DVDs would be the full rhythm. So instead of quarter notes, pinch drum, pinch drum, one, two, three, four, it's one and two and three and four. And so twice as much stuff going on at one time. Lost my partner, what will I do? And after you get through a bunch of songs in either step one or step two, pinch drum or full rhythm like that, we start pinching out the melody. And that's what I call step three, pinching out the melody. So then you already have three styles you can use to vary your playing. I lost my partner, what will I do? Full rhythm, lost my partner, what will I do? Step one again, lost my partner. Pinch drum, pinch drum, pinch drum, pinch drum, pinch. And melody. Now step four, I'm going to switch to the Evo harp. Step four is kind of a combination of step two and three. It's melody and it's full rhythm. So, uh, lost my partner, what will I do? Lost my partner, what will I do? Lost my partner, what will I do? Skip to you, my darling. So take a visit to evoharp.com and, or sorry, evobluestein.com and check out the sparrow harps and evo harps and the instructional materials there. And let me know if you have any questions. Thank you for joining me.